Learning about cars for beginners, part one. Let's talk about those letters that tell you which wheels actually make your car move. And no, AWD doesn't mean awesome wheel design, though it honestly should. FWD, RWD, 4WD, and AWD are drivetrain layouts. Basically, which wheels get power from your engine. And yes, this stuff actually matters. Send it to somebody that needs to learn about cars. Front wheel drive. Most daily drivers like Civics and Corollas use this because it's practical and affordable. It's great in rain and snow, fantastic on gas, but try to push it too hard in the corners, your car's gonna understeer. That's car talk for refuses to turn while you question your life choices. Rear wheel drive. This is where it gets fun. Think Mustangs, BMWs, anything that's ever made your insurance company nervous. Better handling and balance for spirited driving. Just maybe garage it when it snows unless you enjoy unplanned drifting with the curbs. All wheel drive. Power to all the wheels automatically, usually in some kind of split. It's found in Subarus and most SUVs because it handles pretty much any weather. Downside? It's heavier. It drinks gas like it's trying to forget about its ex. But hey, at least you make it to work in that snowstorm. Four wheel drive. The off-road specialist. Think Jeeps and trucks. Amazing off-road, but kind of clunky on normal roads. You have to activate it manually, which is why half the people that have it never use it. Looking at you, mall crawlers. So which one matches your style? Are you practical front-wheel drive? Fun-loving rear-wheel drive? Weather-ready all-wheel drive? Or off-road-ready four-wheel drive? Drop a comment below, unless you drive a BMW. Then go figure out where your turn signals are. Follow for more car content.